that discomfort that you're feeling. Maybe you don't understand it, can't put your words on it. That's grief right now. Grief in this particular time is more confusing than ever. There's a loss of our normal routine, a sense of safety, financial security. There's an anticipatory grief for the future, which is we don't actually know when this will end. There are five different stages of grief. The first one is denial. It's not that bad. And then we go to anger, which is I can't believe I have to change my life for this. I can't believe I've lost all of these things. Then we go to bargaining. I'm not going to stop my life. But if I have to do something, I suppose I can wear a mask. Then we go to sadness, which is coming up so much for people. And then finally, we come to acceptance, which is, okay, if I have to do this, I will, and I'll just do the best that I can. Although we don't know when this will end, there are some things we can do to lessen the impact on us day to day. Grounding ourselves and soothing ourselves. Grab yourself right here outside of your heart, and the other hand reaches across and grabs your arm. What this does is it actually tells your brain that you're safe and it actually calms you down. To challenge your overwhelming thoughts, think about what you're actually telling yourself each day. Is it a fact or is it a story that you made up in your head? Increasing our self-care through ritual and compassion. It's really important that we create at least one ritual a day, something that we can have control over, something that gives us structure, and a sense of safety. The most important thing right now is to not ignore the feelings. Give yourself five to 10 minutes and let yourself really feel what you need to feel.